sun is still shining and um, yeah we're having a fabulous time I've been to this church before when I came like a few years ago I went and visited this church and the people there were so nice and it was such a good service um, and we ended up having a chat with the pastor's wife and seeing maybe there's something that we can do to help the community here um, so yeah we're gonna kind of like keep in touch and see what it is that we can do to maybe help um, the people here in uh, Cape Verde and especially on Sal um, so the weather is beautiful it is more windy than it normally is at the moment um, but that's okay because it gets quite hot so it's actually nice to have a bit of a breeze um, but the Sun is kind of like in and out um, and yeah we've just had a gorgeous lunch as well fabulous food and um, yeah I'm really loving the vibes and really loving being back in Cape Verde again I don't know why I don't come here more often so I'm definitely gonna be coming here more often so um, so we're just kind of like chilling at the moment um, figuring out what to do next but having a good time so far doing a lot of development, a lot of work here, they're doing some stuff on the pavements, a bit of um, so yeah, it's still very much like a building site at the moment in Sal, I'm not going to lie, but if you like sun, sea, sand, then you will love it here.
is the apartment. Let me show you around. So we've got the balcony there. I'll take you out there in a second. But this is kind of like the living, dining, kitchen area here. So here we have TV, we've got a light, um, we've got like a corner sofa and a little coffee table, picture and light there. And then over here, we've got the kitchen area. So as you can see, it's seat six on the little table there. And then we've got like a little kitchen here. And this is like fridge, as you can see, a very sparse looking fridge. We've got a freezer there. We've got a microwave all the way up there. And then in here, we've got all like the plates and the cups and glasses and everything. And then sink, toaster, kettle, uh, more cups and stuff up there. And then space for food, that's an extractor. And then there's a gas hob there. And in here is just like the cutlery and all that jazz. So all the kitchen stuff, um, pots and pans and all of that. Um, and yeah, so that's the kind of the kitchen area. And then we come around and this is the bathroom. So we have shower there. Um, hello, me. Um, so obviously sink storage uh there's hairdryer there's a bidet and a zoa toilet there so all very fully functional there there's space for a washing machine there but i haven't actually put one in yet this is bedroom number two so this is the second bedroom which has two single beds in it so nice and light and bright there and then this is the main bedroom, excuse the junk, but this is the main bedroom with double bed there, um, lights, bedside lights and everything there, nice mirror. And then you've got a nice big storage area here. So currently I have like all the towels and linen and everything in there, but you've got hanging space on this side and then um, you've got like shelving and everything on this side so it's really spacious um ironing board is hiding behind there at the moment but as you can see it's like it's a really really spacious sized room so really really cool and so let me take you back this away and we're going to go outside onto the balcony so we've got outside dining here chairs for four out here and then this is the pool area so this is the view a little bit cloudy and overcast today but that's okay um, and it's a bit more breezy than normal as well at the moment but yeah this is like the pool area so this let me sweep it around so you can kind of see a little bit more but this is tropical resort and I bought this apartment gosh years ago um, um, and it's lovely I must admit I haven't used it as much as I should but it is so so nice here and the beach is literally just through that gap over there I'm not sure if you can see it but it's right there it's like a 30 second walk so I just wanted to show you the reality of Cape Verde and Sal. Um, this, as you can see, looks like an absolute dump. Um, <laughs> and this is behind my apartment. So you've got some areas which are lovely. They've been developed really nicely. And then you've got some areas like this, which look still so barren um, and just look like wasteland, to be honest. So yeah, when you look out of the back of the flat this is what you see <laughs> and this was supposed to be kind of like a theme park and all sorts of things happening back here um but yeah life in cape verde means that things start and they don't always finish so yeah this is what it looks like at the back but you know it is still a beautiful place to be um the sun is still shining 24 7 um 365 days of the year um and so yeah i don't let it worry me too much